What's your future plan? Figuring out, I can say. <laughs> hardware development, I will be focusing on. Thinking to pursue further career into the hardware development. I can go with the automation. Main focus in VHDL. And I wanted to pursue my career in the PCB designing. Alright guys, so I'm at the moment in Hochschule Wismar and uh, sitting here with a bunch of students who are currently studying Masters in what? What are you studying Masters in? Masters in Electrical and Information Technology. And all of you are studying the same course, right? Yeah, we are all studying in the same course. Okay, before I get into this topic, can maybe a couple of you guys can introduce yourselves just so that we have an idea what kind of background you guys come with, who is this course designed for, what are your future plans post completion of this course? This is what we majorly going to be talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. My name is Rohit Vishal and I did my bachelor's uh, in electrical and electronics engineering in Chennai. I came here to do my master's in uh, electrical and information technology at Hochschule Wismar in October 2022. Okay. And what was your grades in bachelor's? 80% okay. in bachelor's. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Shivani Dharmadikari. I am also studying the same course and I did my bachelor's in inf electronics and telecommunication engineering in 2020 and then I did my job experience as a one year and then I came here in 2021. Okay. Winter. Okay. Who is this course designed for? What kind of bachelors are accepted if one wants to get into this masters? Anybody can pursue their masters in this uh, electrical information but majorly they are focusing on the computer science student, electricals and electronics students. Sometimes they will accept instrumentation too. This course is mostly deep into the communication field. Okay. Like antenna communication, like hardware communication, that's all. Got it. What bachelors have you done? I have done electrical engineering. And what was your grades you said? Uh, bachelors it's 76%. 76%. Which all universities did you apply before coming to Germany? Frankfurt, Berlin, Stuttgart also. But Finally, I got uh, the admission here in Hochschule Wismar. Okay, okay. Uh, Since you're studying in a Hochschule, yeah. is this course three semester or four semester program? It's a three semester program. Three semester actually. program. Yeah, two semester we have sub subjects, 12 subjects ap ap locks, mm -hmm. and uh, one thesis for six months. Okay, yeah. okay. Give it to him. What specializations one can do into this? Every subject, their own spe specialization. If uh, someone wants to do like designing, yeah. they can go for integrated circuit design. Then one is like project seminar. They have they will taught us KiCad, how to mix schematic and all other stuff. Uh, there is one subject like communication system if you want to go in a communication uh, area if you want to go for automation they, there is a one more subject iot and uh, if you want to go for some other subject like advanced optical system so like uh, there is 12 subject basically and you can go for 12 spe uh, specializations okay and what are you interested in vhdl automations keycard so i'm that much interested in th okay. these subjects first of all tell me which semester are you in right now the so second, second second semester, semester. Yeah. is it too early for me to ask you about your career prospects my background for bachelor's was from instrumentation engineering so i worked uh, in India for one year. My mindset was clear. I was in oil and gas uh, sector. Mm. After coming here, uh, I got like I came to know that uh, for instrumentation engineering department, there you should have some knowledge about electrical. So I came. I got admission here, and some my goal was open. I always wanted to go into automation process to work in a good automation company, and which I was working. So yeah, it's it's, it's just I've uh, come to, like I'm doing my second semester, mm. but I have already the target that I'll do my thesis in automation. I'll pursue the further the career in automation. Okay. So how much tuition fees or semester contribution one has to make for this course? Yeah, just recently they are increased to around 108 euros. 108 euros. And, and this includes your uh, Deutschland ticket? No. no. This is a small city or small village we can say. So we don't have Deutschland ticket here. So they are not, not even a semester ticket. So we have to just pay 108 or, uh, euro for our semester contribution. Last question I have. I want all of you to answer that. What's your future plan post completion of this master's? What kind of career you think? I mean, I've already asked you but others can answer like what kind of career are you looking forward to have till now I'm just figuring out I can say <laughs> but it's very late yeah I accept but still figuring out uh, time being I'm thinking to go in embedded side I feel it is a better to go in uh, the core where, uh, rather than going to some and what stuff top like. three skills are required to be good at embedded of course you have to go for you have to good knowledge on hardware these things and you have to go you have to have a strong program language like C or uh, other uh, the languages like Python which helps in VHDL other sites like where, where you can move for testing sites and still thinking for this ember okay. Okay. I have finished my subjects and currently I'm working on my thesis so basically I did work in embedded system but after coming
doing here i changed my career to hardware development so i had actually basic knowledge of that but after coming here i studied and professors are very supportive and so yes hardware development i will be focusing on for that you will need pcb designing the cat software basic programming obviously you will need for testing then power electronics okay. for you will get to know more about the components okay. why we use okay. yes same for me also i am thinking to pursue further career in into the hardware development because she and i are both are working together only oh, okay. uh, she is actually writing her thesis and she almost completed it and so that's all okay uh, and for that you need only uh, more knowledge about the electronics digital electronics how it works how it known mostly deep into the electronics part not like just uh, connecting the gates and all okay yeah. okay fair enough for me maybe i would like to finish my subject one left and then i think after that trying to find a work student in here i will start my career maybe for the topic uh, i will take most of the time uh, wireless communication but do you have any experience in that so far uh, no i just have an no. experience in in a real job i work as an assistant for safety engineering okay okay firstly i will focus on my subjects and after that i'm trying to figuring out what i have to do but as i have seen all the subjects and all the modules so i can go with the automation because in bachelor's also i made a project in automation so i have a good hand on automation okay. I'm not sure in which field I want to go, but like I'm open for everything right now. As I run by all the complete, as I completed my all the subjects, and currently I'm looking for an internship. And like basically my, but the my main focus in VHDL. So yeah, I'm looking in that field only. And I wanted to pursue my career further after completion of my thesis in the PCB designing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So that's all what we have. I will link some basically the course link of yours in the description of this video. And if you have any questions, please reach out to the university management directly. They're the right people to answer the questions related to. admission documentation and all of that you've heard from them what kind of potential career you can make out of uh, post completion of this course and uh, there are similar videos around this topic i've made make sure that you check the description very well having said that if you've made it till here hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next time bye bye